It's Megan and today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you guys. I just got back from the Goodwill outlet and I spent about an hour and a half there. That's usually about how much time I spend there. Um, I am trying to spe like spend a little bit more time there to find some Amazon items, just mostly books. and um, So I'm trying to start doing that more but I am still focusing primarily on eBay like I did start my Amazon account but I haven't set anything in yet um, I only have about like five items to send in so I'm waiting to get at least like 10 12 items to send in before I do that first um, but so much so far I'm just sticking to clothes right now um, it's what makes me really happy I enjoy doing it I love finding women's clothing and that is what I'm going to show you guys today I bought uh, I spent around $45 I believe it was um, somewhere in the $40 range for all this and I got 40 pounds like I said I think in the beginning so I'll just go ahead and get into it and so the first item that I got was this little kimono and it has some tassel sleeves it's like kimono sleeve and um, really lightweight fabric it's not a special brand or anything but I thought because of the fringe detail I would pick it up like anything that has like fringe or crocheted detailing, I always pick it up. Um, I've been finding a lot of like new with um, tag stuff from Target at the bins. This is like a little sweater dress and it has some like little tulle bottom and some floral underlay print underneath it. I thought it was really cute. Picked that up since it was new. I just been picking up anything that's new with tags, um, regardless of brand, just because I feel like it's going to sell. I mean, even things that I thought would never sell that I listed like when I first started eBay, I thought I even contemplated like deleting and getting rid of. They still sold. So, I mean, don't lose hope. Like, people, I know some people ask like, oh, how long should I leave something up? Or I always just either put it on auction or buy it now or back to auction. Um, it'll sell eventually. Um, another piece I got is this black little lace, little detailed, it's like kind of sheer. I don't know if you guys can tell that well on the camera, but yeah, it's just a sheer little top. It doesn't have a brand or the tag was cut out. Um, I've been really liking styling pieces with a bunch of necklaces. I cleaned out my entire room and I have like a dedicated, like, 10 necklaces that I switch out and I give things like a certain look and style. I have contemplated starting to add belts, but I feel like I would definitely need to add like a disclaimer that the belts aren't included in the outfits because I don't want to get like negative feedback for that. Another piece that I picked up is this American Rag. Um, I always pick up American Rag. Um, they sell this at Macy's. It's just a cute little florally roughly dress for spring. I picked up a lot of this floral spring stuff. Like every time I see a bin come out with like total, total like floral patterns or polka dots, like I almost like just chuck the whole bin in my cart and then I'll go through it later because um, I do have like a lot of competition with women's clothing there. Um, at least like four or five other people getting women's clothing. So sometimes I'll just grab it if I like the print or I like the fabric and I'll look at the brand later. Um, this is a Hollister little cute dress, another cute spring dress, has like little crochet detailing on the bottom. Um, I picked up this Free People bag, I actually just sold um, a lot of two Free People bags and usually I lot them together but since I only have one I'll probably just sell that one singly and I sold a lot for $14. Next I picked up is this Forever 21. It's a just a black lightweight cardigan. It has horses on it. Um, I do pick up a lot of Forever 21 pieces um, since it is at the bins. And I am trying to get more pounds every time I go. Um, I usually get around 20 pounds and today I got 40 so that's usually like double what I get. And I'm just trying to really like grow and expand my store um, and work really hard the next couple months. I feel like I've definitely been slacking. Um, which is motivation and things like that and that's why I've cleaned out my entire room and I cleared out everything in my space and got new furniture um, 
just to have a more like positive workspace and feel like I can be productive in my space because before it was just so chaotic that I felt like I couldn't get anything done and it wasn't helping me. But anyways, back to the clothing, sorry, talking, ranting. This is APT and it's like this floral, it's like this jersey, stretchy material. I always find a lot of dresses like this. They sell fairly well. This one, APT, isn't that great of a brand. Um, it has some beading on it or like little embellished detailing. This was really cute. Um, I'm definitely going to wash it. I think that can come out of the neckline. It's um, a Levi uh, denim jacket with um, the white lining that's really like soft and warm. And it's in really good condition, like besides the little like stain around the neckline, I think I could definitely get that out. Um, and to get like stains out, I usually put a bunch of shout on it overnight and then I'll put more shout on it in the morning and then I'll wash it. And I usually um, use like a, a baking soda detergent and that's like the only detergent that I really use. And another dress I picked up is this White House Black. It's not new, but it has the Goodwill tag still on it. They wanted $14.99. It's insane, but it's really cute. It has all this like purple floral print on the bottom. Uh, this is just like kind of like a plus size large top. It's navy and it has some cute like ruffling. I just thought it was really cute. 3-4 sleeve, a little ruffling on the sleeves. It doesn't have a brand, but I really like the fabric. And I've also been trying to pick up more vintage pieces that I think are really pretty. Like, I don't know, it just really makes me sad, like, seeing really pretty clothes. And, like, sometimes I feel guilty, like, I just want to grab everything and sell everything and give it, like, a new home where it's going to get, like, appreciated and used and not just, like, thrown in a landfill or you know not used and appreciated but I found this vintage uh, it's kind of like a maxi dress and it crosses in the back it's kind of hard to tell without it being on a mannequin but it crosses in the back and has a back zipper but it's just really pretty and like romantic and I wanted to pick it up and again I style these pieces with like a bunch of like chokers and cute necklaces like that Okay, I'll try to stop getting off totally off topic and get through these clothes because I still have a decent amount to show you guys. Um, this is a brand called Cat and Jack. Um, I never heard of them, but I thought the tag looked really nice and it looks like it was still has attached somewhat of the tag attached. So I picked that up. It's just a cute flannel. Um, this next piece is just a cute little party dress. Um, Esli and it just has some ruffling and it ties in the back with this little sash. Let me know if you guys would like to see the camera like further back in the future. I don't know if you guys can fully see all the items. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments. Um, this next dress, another Target dress. Super cute. Kind of long sleeve and it's tiered like a cute little baby doll dress so cute and this is the stuff that I always struggle with wanting to keep but honestly like I know I don't have anywhere to wear that or I wouldn't wear that anywhere so I just sell it uh, this next dress is another just cute like little romantic dress it has some polka dots and floral and lace it's like tiered. You guys can see that. And it has a lace hem. Um, not any special brand. I just picked it up based on style. Um, this next dress is Peter Mulatto. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Um, I actually sold the same exact dress a couple days ago. So I can easily just hit relist and change the size if it's a different size so that's actually happened to me a lot lately where I sold something and then at the bins I find the same exact thing and I just relist it 
and I don't have to retake pictures, which is awesome. But I thought this was really cool. This is like the first thing I saw when I walked into the next. There is, what is this? Um, oh, this is a Windsor cardigan. Windsor. The little heart. Oh, you guys can see that. Windsor. Um, I always pick up Windsor depending on the style um, since it is like a mall brand and it can be um, like higher end sometimes. Um, it's just a cute little crocheted cardigan. This was probably one of my favorite finds today. It was Free People. It's a romper. Polka dots and lace crocheted bottom. So cute. So, so cute. Love that one. Um, this was another vintage piece I got um, along with that dress. Um, it's this little coat. Um, it has like these really cool like applique sleeves. I think that's what you would call this. It's like heavy crocheted and it's thin. You guys can kind of see it better that way. Um, it's just a cute little vintage coat and it has like three little buttons. And the hem is all the same and I just thought the detail on this was really beautiful and it's in amazing condition. Even the buttons are really cute, like they have crochet detailing and there's like three buttons on it. It's really pretty. Love it. Pick that up. Um, I feel like that's something I would wear like if I lived in London or something, I wish, but really pretty. And next is this basic little navy top, and I picked it up because it has a cute crocheted hem. Super easy pickup, lightweight. And that's also another thing, like, I've been starting to notice if something's really lightweight and it's cute, and it's a cute print, or it's not a great brand or whatever, and it's so light, it's like I shouldn't take the time to contemplate on whether to buy it or not because it's so cheap. You know, even if I make like $10 out of it, that's great. So, um, I'm starting to spend less time like contemplating certain items. Um, I definitely still check and make sure everything's in really good condition. But other than that, I try to just not overthink things and just get in and get out. Um, moving on is this Lucky Brand top. It's kind of like a little graphic. Next is this Banana Republic. Top. Um, I pick up only some pieces from Banana Republic. Um, again, it just depends on style. Like, I always pick up dresses I find from Banana Republic. Um, sweaters, sometimes I kind of pass on. Um, I kind of do pass on a lot of sweaters just because. Um, sorry if I keep looking up. I'm like scared my backdrop is like gonna fall on me. Um, so yeah. All right. Anyways, enough talking. This is a really cute um, Sienna Sky. I'm not sure what brand that is, but it's brand new with tags. It has a cold shoulder and it has these really pretty bell sleeves. It's sheer. And I'm going to be listing all these items tonight. Um, so I will put a link down to my store in the description if you guys um, are thinking about purchasing purchasing any of these items or you're interested in them um I and to if you think like my pri my starting price is a little too high I do price things and then automatically put them on like a 15 to 20 percent off sale all the time um so I usually don't expect to get my original price um and another piece that I got is this Style & Co green sweater it's really cute textured knit. Got this embroidered dress and it has some beautiful embroidery on the bottom. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't have any stains on it. I went over it kind of quickly but from what I can tell it doesn't have any. Yeah so it's really cute. It has embroidery on the sleeves as well and again another like whatever brand it doesn't really matter. I just picked it up based on the style. This next piece is another flannel, uh, Salt Valley, Salt Valley Western. Um, I thought the tag looked nice. I didn't look it up. Uh, it was just in really good condition. I really liked the color. I really liked the snap button detailing on the sleeves. 
So that is why I got that one. Next is this Lux brand. It says Lux. And it has the Anthropology RN number, and I always list it as Anthropology. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's Urban Outfitters or. But I usually just list it as um, Anthropology. And it's just a cute little knit cardigan. I think this might be a wool blend. And another sweater. What is this? This is Forever 21. I don't always pick up Forever 21 sweaters um, in H&M too, but if they're a cute style, like to me this was like a really cute print, and it has like gray, and it's kind of oversized, and like that textured look. I don't know, so, like I was saying, like some stuff's so cute that I just don't want to leave it there. So I got that. This is an L top. I sell this at Kohl's. I just thought it was a really cute top and it was in good condition with no stain, so I got that. This top is from Prior 21, it's so cute. It's a floral little crop top, kind of like a high low, and it has like this crocheted bell sleeves. Oh, I want to keep this so bad, it looks so cute. I can't wait to list this. So adorable. That's from Forever 21. This is... This is just like a basic um, tank and it doesn't have a certain brand but I got it. I picked it up because of like the really cool detailing in the back. So again I'm probably just going to style it with some necklaces. And I just thought the detailing in the back was adorable so that's why I got it. This is another Target dress, um, I think that's Mosmo, right, that kind of label. Um, it's just like this pleather little fit and flare dress, and I always pick these up, they're really easy to list, um, and that's another thing, I love picking up dresses and tops because they're so easy to list for me, I just like throw them on the mannequin. Um, I can usually draft about 15 to 20 items in an hour. Um, and that's not including pictures, but that is with me pricing it, measurements, everything. Um, I can draft about 20 in an hour. And um, I am starting to like streamline my process more, and I am going to be doing a video um, tomorrow, I think. Um, kind of like a list with me video where I list like three to four items, and I, sh I go through the exact process um, of what I do when I list. So if you guys are interested on how I list so much or how I list efficiently, um, stay tuned for that. Uh, this is, yeah, I think this is a top. I thought it was a romper. Um, I'm not sure on the brand. Yeah, I think this is just like a whatever brand, but it's so adorable. It has like lace detailing. It has some beading along the neckline. I don't know if it's, you can tell on camera. But I really love like the baby pastel blue with this type of floral, like this vintage floral print. Really cute. And next is, what is this? Another Target dress. This is like a halter um, black lace dress. A lot of Target stuff that I find there, but it's always really cute. So. And a lot of Target stuff is really made really well. It is really good quality. Um, a lot of stuff I can't pick up at the regular Goodwills because they always charge like $7.99 for the dresses. Um, so that's why I just mostly shop at the bins. It's like the best profit margins. It's 10 minutes from my house. So I pretty much only go to the bins now. Um, I do go to my other regular thrift store maybe once or twice a month. Sometimes I'll go to a Salvation Army, but I just don't see the point because I'm getting so much less for so much more money. This next piece I got is this like cute little retro, um, it's like a stretchy knit top and the brand is Adriana Vitadini. Um, I didn't get it based on brand, this is another piece I just got up based on style. I thought it was like cute and retro. So I picked that up with the color blocking. Uh, another one 
another piece that I got is this Collective Concepts. I thought this was a really cute top. The little crochet detailing button up. This next piece is a long sleeve and it is the brand Tea Party. And I always pick up Tea Party. It sells decently well for me. And it's just this cool like little peace sign embellished top. Like a tie-dye effect, I guess. Kind of like a cool lounge top. This is an uh, anthropology brand. I don't know how to say that. Barashi? Barashi? I don't know. But it's a really cute, like, little cropped jacket. And it's gray. That's how the back looks. And not much on it. But, yeah, it's just really adorable. Picked that up. It was just laying there on top. I found another Free People piece. This is a cute little bralette top. I think this might be a little bit too big for me, or maybe not. It's a size medium. But yeah, I might keep this. I'm not sure. You guys can check my store later and see what I decided on. I might just list it. I feel like I have so many cute little bra tops that I don't need another one. Um, this next piece is huh, Gilly Hicks, uh, but I guess it has a hole in it right here. I didn't notice, so I guess I'll just donate that. And I feel like when I do go to the bins, I do end up donating like at least four to five pounds back. Uh, it's just because, you know, there's things that I didn't see or there's stains that I think I could get out and I couldn't. I try not to pick up things with stains, but, you know, things happen. You just never know. And... I feel like it is expected that everything you get isn't going to be in like amazing perfect condition, especially at the Good Wallet. But anyways, this is another Forever 21 piece. This is like a cool little sweatshirt. I thought it was really cute. Has a little kangaroo pocket in the front. This next piece I got is from Ann Taylor Loft and it's just this like cute little career dress. Um, like color blocked and this little tweed pencil skirt um, on the bottom. Uh, this brand is kind of like whatever brand too. It's like Fire Los Angeles. But it's really pretty like little peasant uh, maxi skirt. And it's a larger size so that's why I picked it up. Super cute. This was actually just laying on the top too, which I was really surprised by that someone just like kind of left this sitting there on top. Um, it's a brand Taylor. You guys can see that. Taylor. And it has this really pretty like embellished little bow detailing in the front and this like quilted fabric. Um, I might have to wash it because of like the underarm area, but that's usually okay. Like. A lot of stuff I get has like little deodorant marks, which is not a big deal. Actually, there's a rhinestone missing. I guess I can't sell it. Oh well. See, there's just like little things like that that I don't always want to sit at the outlet and examine every little piece. Because it is hard to tell, especially with women's clothing. There's especially because I get so many crocheted, crocheted like lace little pieces that Sometimes there's like a tiny little hole that I can't, that I'm never going to see, even if I did take the time to go through everything. This next piece is one of my favorite brands, um, Flying Tomato. It's like this cool little peasant tunic blouse with like orange embroidery around the neckline. I picked up this other vintage, um, like little embroidered top, and I plan on making it into um, like a tank top. Um, there is a couple stains, so that's why I'm kind of going to make it into um, kind of like almost like a muscle tee crop top or something. And then there's like little cute floral detailing in the back. Um, I didn't want to leave it behind. I thought the peacock was really pretty and I feel like this could be a really cute top if I kind of like upcycle it, I guess. Um, I'm actually learning how to sew and it's something I'm really excited about. Um, I started taking classes at Joann's. And it's been going really well. I only just did the basic class and then the next class I'm taking is learning a pillowcase. So just starting out with the basics, but I really think that I could be like not necessarily designing clothing, but like upcycling the clothing and um, 
using like really pretty lace pieces or crocheted pieces. Um, even blankets that I find and maybe making really cool unique blouses and maybe selling them at a little bit higher price point. So that's something I'm really looking forward to trying out this year and hopefully that I'll be successful at. Um, another blouse I got, um, this brand is Sarah Spencer. Um, I didn't get it because of the brand but I just thought it was really pretty. A little ruffling and floral detailing. This top kind of reminded me of those Free People thermals. Um, there's like a little sticker on here. Um, it has like these cute little embroidered cuffs. Um, even though it's not Free People, um, I feel like these style of tops um, a lot of people like. So that's why I picked it up and I think it will still sell. I'm sorry if this is like super boring or I'm not the best talker. It sounds very repetitive. Um, it's kind of hard with women's clothing. I'm still getting used to talking to myself, well to you guys, um, but I'm also trying to just get out of my head more with YouTube and just, you know, put myself out there and just do it. Um, anyways, uh, this is a green top and it has some cute like gold um, threading in it. Um, it's by XOXO, which is like a Macy's brand. Just a cute little career going out top. Uh, these next, I always pick up these like floral kind of like gypsy palazzo pants. I think that's how you say it, palazzo. And it has this really beautiful like red print on them. Um, I always make sure I check the bottoms a couple times. I forgot to check the bottom hem um, of pants. I don't buy a lot of pants, but that's something I've gotten really good at is checking the bottom and making sure there's not like dirt and stains on it. Uh, let's see, this is another like animal print top I got, um, the brand is No Boundaries, but I just got it because of the print, um, it has some sheer detailing on it, and it's just really cute, like basic top with birds on it, here's the back, it does have buttons, it's a button up shirt. I got a J. Crew skirt, really cute. And I have been doing a little bit of flat lays with mostly just like pants and skirts. Um, I have some stuff coming for my new backdrop, well, for my boutique kind of setup that I'm gonna do, um, which, like I was saying before, like I'm really excited. And um, I'll probably end up showing you guys a little bit of my ideas with that in a later video. Um, this is another exhilaration dress. Um, I've sold this same one before. Really cute, like little bell sleeves. Kind of like this watercolor print. Next is this Jessica, or not Jessica, um, Jennifer Lopez top. And I got it just because it was a plus size top. And I thought it was a really fun color. Uh, this is another Target piece, Liberty of London. It's a little tank. Cute little navy floral detailing and this is probably gonna be like the last piece I'll show you guys um, it's this rock and Republic um, kind of like cut out little casual tee I always pick up rock and Pu Republic too um, it usually sells within like two or three days every time I post rock and Republic um, I don't price it insanely high but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video um, I'm gonna really really work hard on producing content at least once or twice a week um, I'm really trying to stick to my New Year's goals and just being more productive and getting what I want out of my day and I hope you guys had a productive day or you're taking a break from your productive day to watch this video and I will see you guys in the next